We recommend the Seneca XK Quad Media Player. The player can be connected via four HDMI to display port cables into each screen. The Windows desktop will then allow you to extend the desktop to give you a 4K native canvas across the 2x2 array. Content can then be designed easily and natively using the Engage PhD Layout Designer. In this series, we'll walk through a couple of examples for creating content for your video wall using the Layout Designer and Playlists. The first video in our series will walk through installing the Engage PhD app on your Windows operating system. To connect your Windows player to Engage PhD, you'll need to first install the latest version of Google Chrome. Download and run the Engage PhD Windows app from the link above this video. Once the installation file has finished downloading, double click on the setup file and select Run. Windows may prompt you if you would like to run the startup. Select Run Anyway to continue. Check the box to create a desktop shortcut and click Next. Click Install. Once installation is complete, check the box to Launch Application and click Finish. From the Players page in the software, locate the device ID for the player you want to use. This can be found from the List view on the main Players page or from the Player record when you click on the player. Enter the device ID and click Next. The Engage PhD control panel will open and the application will connect to the server. If content has been scheduled to the player, you will see a download or countdown status. Once the download is complete, content will start playing full screen. To close the application at any time, use Alt F4 on your keyboard. If you would like to have the Engage PhD app start automatically each time the player is rebooted or after loss of power, you will need to add a shortcut to the startup folder. Right-click on the Engage PhD icon on the desktop and select Create Shortcut. Click in the Windows search bar and type Run. Select the Run option. From the dialog window, type Shell colon Common Startup and press Enter on your keyboard or click OK. This should open the startup folder. Drag and drop the shortcut into the startup folder you can then close the startup folder window. If your video wall content will play full screen and does not require videos, text, images, or widgets in the same layout, you can create a full screen playlist from the playlist section of the software. Playlists can also be created and used within a layout. We'll walk through these steps in the next video on creating a video wall layout. From the home page, click on Playlists. Use the Create New button to create a new playlist. From the playlist, use the Upload Media tab to upload new images or video files. Or select an asset you've already uploaded in the Asset Library. Drag and drop the image or video into the timeline and adjust the placement as needed or set conditional playback options as required. If you're displaying only full screen content using a playlist, use the Schedule option to schedule your playlist to your player. When considering your design for a 2x2 two two video wall, you'll want to create your layout at 2160 by 3840 pixels for the width and height. This will create a full 4K resolution in your Layout Designer workspace. From here, you can then add full screen images, videos, text, widgets, or create playlists of content to only play where required within the layout. For example, if I want a playlist to play content on the top right corner of my video wall, which would be the top right screen, I would create a playlist from the Playlist section of the software and then use the Add Playlist button to add that zone, 
Then select the playlist from the playlist drop-down in the zone detail and also use the zone width and height to size the zone to 1920 by 1080 pixels. That way it displays full screen on just that top right green. I would then position the zone in the top right corner of the layout and then to preview the playlist in the layout, I want to remember to use the preview icon on the toolbar. This will show any content playing within a playlist. If I wanted full screen 4K content to play on all four screens, I would first create a playlist within the playlist section of the software and then add all of my 4K assets to that playlist. I would then use the Add Playlist icon from the Layout Designer toolbar to create a playlist that will fill the entire 3840 by 2160 layout. Some folks like to create a layout to provide the framework and then they can add elements like text and images on top of the playlist within the layout. If your layout design does require images, text or various widgets, you can use the various icons on the toolbar to add different types of content to your layout. In the next section, we'll talk about scheduling your layout or full screen playlist to your players. Whether creating a 3840 by 2160 layout or just using a full screen playlist, you would use the schedule from the home page to deploy content to your player. When working with layouts, you can also use the schedule icon from the Layout Designer toolbar. You're going to find that all the way down at the bottom of the toolbar. Either schedule option gives you the choice to schedule your content to players right away or select a future date and time for your content to start playing. You'll find various resources for creating playlists, creating layouts, and scheduling content from within the knowledge base. Feel free to search for topics or reach out to our support team with any questions or concerns.